Imagine I just saw the Malayalam movie Attention Please on Netflix and here comes supposedly another artist vengeful and on a mission to come after critics. Psychological thrillers are hard to come by when it comes to Hindi cinema, especially if done right. Other than a haunting Raman Raghav, a little known but extremely effective phobia and the commercial yet engaging Talash, we have to usually wait 3 to 4 years for one to pop up and pique the interest of those who are big fans of the genre. It's pretty sad as we constantly talk about 404 era not found 13B or even Karthik calling Karthik even today. We really don't have new additions to that list. Three worlds that I never saw crossing paths with one another include R Balki, Sunny Deol and Dulkar Salman. especially if you told me that they are teaming up for a psychological thriller before i even get into the plot of the film i really have to commend dulkar salman for the sheer range of scripts he is experimenting with and even a veteran like sunny deol to take the plunge with different genres in what is considered to be his second innings with the movies The film focuses on several gruesome murders taking place in Mumbai where critics are being killed with stars branded on their foreheads. Arvind Mathur played by Sunny Deol the head of the crime branch leads the case in trying to understand the motive of the murders. As a viewer we explore that this may be a creator an artist being vengeful against film journalists. How the case progresses and the film sheds light on several characters including a florist Danny played by Dulkar Salman, a cinephile portrayed by Shreya Dhanvantri and a criminal psychologist played by Pooja Bhatt giving commentary on the several developments around forms the basic storyline of Chup, the revenge of an artist. The film heavily references the life of Guru Dutt as well especially his deep connection with his last directorial venture Kagaz Ke Phool. whose disastrous critical and financial performance affected him personally and professionally how they tie several themes of the artist their creation and the manic stage that one reaches in context to the case forms the storyline of this film here's me telling you the good and bad aspects of the movie so that you guys can ultimately decide whether to watch chup in theaters or not the underwhelming aspects slow burn and linear storytelling This point for the film is more going to be a cautionary tale rather than a demerit of the film's quality but I'm doing this so that you guys are aware of the type of film you're stepping in for when one thinks of thrillers like NH10 or Kahani there is almost an exhilarating pace to the events that take place this engages the audience from the word go but chup is a slow burn from start to finish and the perception of it basically lies in what is your preference It does not derail the overall quality of the movie but for those who are expecting a narrative with many twists and turns and that will keep you on the edge of your seat waiting for another curve on the journey this is not that film it's way more psychological and immersive not feeling the pressure to constantly startle you the one criticism i have though for the film is that it doesn't really shock you with its linear storytelling knowing the events that will take place the characters that are introduced and the several personality traits that are explored you have a clear idea of who are these players in the cat and mouse chase for thrillers especially to be engaging in the second half one needs for at least a jaw dropping revelation but most of the big reveals in the film can be seen from a mile away and are already established in the first half staging and execution there are many moments where the killer is on the loose and is executing several of his heinous crimes i really wish for the movie to have an integration of a compelling and eerie background score many times a chilling background score encapsulates the theme and intention of the character if you remember movies like anjam patra or even rakshasan the background score are vivid in your memory and i feel in this case dulkar's character danny and the cat and mouse chase deserved a better score there is also a sequence of a body being thrown and someone being rescued from a soundproof studio that is terribly staged and executed moments which deserved a jaw dropping reaction from the audience are rushed and not staged or edited properly the good writing This movie definitely is meta in its truest sense having several references of the real world especially the film industry and how the love and hate relationship between film critics and film producers oscillates dependent on the week's release those who are really involved in the discourse of films and what transpires on a weekly basis will find several of these conversations hilarious yet intriguing R Balki Raja Sen and Rishi Varmani's writing has the beautiful ability to be scary yet funny in moments a classic case of this is when movie reviewers are at the funeral of one of their colleagues and they are actually talking about the evening screening of the day and feeling insecure about not being invited for the show a critic in the same scene mockingly even references how the new recruit loves cinema a case of how jaded industry folk become several zingers about the current state of the films include yahan score sezi nahi shetty chalta hai hit ka matlab achhi film i don't agree or oh, my personal favorite as the killer is torturing one of the critics he tells him tera kaam hai film ko mehsoos karna 
फिल्म कैसा बिजनेस करेगी तेरा काम नहीं है रिमाइंडर दैट मेनी पीपल एनी वे नीड ऑन सोशल मीडिया A cinephile's dream. The film, in many ways, is a homage to cinema and its beauty. Several of its frames and the music that is integrated into the screenplay is representative of exactly that. The film, for those who are obsessed with cinema, will really put into perspective the heartbreaking story of Guru Dutt and his directorial venture, Kagas Ke Phool. A movie that is shown today to film institutes as one of the gold mines of storytelling was reviewed by publications, terming it as undistinguished, incoherent, and boringly told. the effect on the creator being so drastic that he never directed again fearing his association itself with directorial credits will lead to a project's downfall the crazy part about this film is that its own original song is the most forgettable part about the film but its classic tunes like jaane kya tune kahi from pyasa waqt ne kya kiya haseen sitam from kagaz ke phool really are the highlight of the film's melodies the iconic shot panning away as the song ye duniya agar mil from pyasa plays in the background will make any cinema enthusiast giddy from the inside solid performances but dulkar salman steals the show I can't fault any of the performances in this film who basically understood the assignment simply. Sunny Deol in roles that require him to be grounded in his pitch and performance really is the second innings with the Deol brothers that I would love to see more often. Him as the investigating officer really proud of his credibility and work ethic does a fine job. Pooja Bhatt in a small role does as the script demands and Shreya Dhanvantari is her charming best in this film, playing the role of a cinephile and budding critic really well. I also want to ask fate and god when he can make me randomly bump into a woman who breaks conversations and transitions into several film references because that seems like an absolute dream. It's however Dulkar Salman that really is the shocking element of this film. I've been a huge fan of Dulkar's work ever since Ustad Hotel and Bangalore days and I've always respected him for his eccentric choices. But never will you see the range that he has showcased in Chup in his filmography. his charming body language his seamless execution of the hindi language coming across easily as a boy brought up in bombay his progression into shades of the character that i can't really get into are truly commendable it's hands down one of his best performances of his career and i love that he was willing and eager to be a part of such an interesting script i do want to give a mini spoiler which isn't really a spoiler but the movie does give a scary precedent when the motive of the killer is explored and it in no way shape or form should justify the perpetrator's actions i'm swinging around a topic that i can't really flesh out but when you see the film you'll know what i'm talking about Chop is a very interesting psychological thriller that will have the audience split in between one wanting a fast paced thriller and disconnecting from the slow burn in this film and the other where i lie present delicious cinema references and a truly scary premise with convincing performances that had room for improvement but definitely kept me engaged nonetheless the most important conclusion is that i'm just relieved that i've never given stars for my film reviews and that was a video guys Write down in the comments below what you thought about the movie. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle is right in front of you. Follow me at Jammy Pants Four. Also, please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.